Welcome friends to our YouTube channels and today in this session uh, we are going to learn about the bias. What is a bias? So bias is a basically a hardware chips, right? It's a eight leg chips and bias numbers start from two five that indicate that is a bias and the last number indicate the size of the bias. Suppose there is a mention 64 that means the bias size is a 64 megabits and if it is a mention there is a 128 that means a 128 megabits. So bias is a basically is connected to the CPU and the pin number one is called the chip select and pin number two is a read pin. Pin number five is a write pin and uh, pin number six is a clock pin and uh, when we test all the signal then basically we test only the two signal that is called pin number one and pin number two pin number one is a chip select pin there we have to connect the oscilloscope or the analyzer or pin number two that is a read pin that means from that activity will come to know that our bias or the cpu is functioning or not so that that is a basically a test signal and uh, bias require of uh, three volt basically that is there on the pin number eight and the latest bias works on the 1.8 volt also so this is a hardware okay now in the hardware there is a software also and that is called the firmware of the bias and this firmware is called the ufi bias and this ufi bias is uh, divided into the different different regions okay so the regions are descriptor regions me regions bias regions gb regions and the pdr regions okay so these are the different different regions there on the bias chips that we'll see so these are the regions so descriptor region is uh, basically in the index index of the bias so in our books we can see there is an index page saying the information about all the pages and their pages numbers so similarly the index page is a layout of the content and the second is called the ME regions in ME regions there are different different region again this is called the trusted engine executions PCH controller PMC controller type C controller CSM regions the all the regions are there in the CSM regions so the friends I told you that bias is connected to the CPU and in the CPU there is a another CPU the in CPU within the CPU it's called a CPU within the CPU and that CPU works before the main CPU is turned on and that is called CSM region or the M region that is a basically for the security means before turn on our main computer that 486 CPU start working at with with his own operating system it's called the minix operating systems and this cpu turn on you access this regions called the csm regions check all the parameter check all the keys check all the serial numbers or the all the things are there on the bias we check and if everything is okay then only is going to turn on the systems. So what happens sometimes some of the security regions or some other regions so CSM region or the PXC regions or the PMC controller is get corrupt. So our laptop is turned on but it's not giving the display. So that is called the corruptions of the CSM region. So in this today's session so we learn how to resolve this problem. But before that I want to tell you one thing that if you want to be experts in the bias editing because nowadays uh, you can see that uh, bias is a main concern because sometimes we see the laptop is power on but it's not giving the display laptop is power on but the cpu core is not generating and we are trying the bias and we download the bias from here and there we download the bias from the winafix or in telegram groups or here and there but doesn't work and we think that the problem in the cpu or the ram but the problem in the bias only so how to solve that so for that we should know the perfect bias making or the bias editing and to learn perfect bias editing we should know these tools the first thing we should know the how to use the ufi tools the ufi tools is a basically a tool which tell about the bias region their size we can extract any region we can insert any regions with the help of this ufi tool the second important tool is called the hex editor where we can trim the bias sometime when we download the bias from the official site that time we need to trim the bias we remove the top position remove the bottom position position we have to find the serial number keys and all the things we to do uh, with the help of hex editor then the me analyzer me analyzer is a tool which tell us about the bias me regions and tell us about the bias version like major minor hotfix and suffix then sku then which fitc tools we have to use all the parameters tell the 
emergence then the next is intel file image tool this intel file image tools from this tools we clean the bias emi regions we remove the dirty bias regions and put clean emi regions in that and we make the new bias with the help of intel file image tool and the last is a different type of extractor see i already told you that when we download from the bias from the winafix or some other site or the telegram groups the bias doesn't work and the problem is their bias only because in our latest laptop there are only four chips one is cpu another is a bias ram and sio when our laptop is turned on that means our sio is okay then the next component is called the ram so we change the ram so ram is also okay the only two components are left that is a cpu and the bias so how will come to know that my bias is a uh, faulty so for that the important thing is we should use this tool from this tool you come to know that bias is perfect or not and best thing what you have to do instead of downloading the bias from here and there best thing so what you have to do is you have download the bias from the official sites like dell lenovo hp asus asus or toshiba and there you will get a exe file or the zip file exe file normally the official the companies they give only the bias region they don't give the entire bias i already told you the bias is divided into the different different regions that is a uh, me region then the descriptor then the bias region and the pdr gb but the official companies they give only the bias regions okay so last these are the extractors for the different different bias so you should know about all the extractor there are varieties of extractors are there and you have to use the different different extractor for the different different bias creations so the normally the official companies give exe file suppose if you go to the hp site or if you go to the dell or lenovo or any other they normally give the exe file or some companies give the zip file also so the exe file have the bias and the bias extension is normally in the bin extension so what this extractor do is they remove the bias regions or the bin file from the exe file so you we have to learn about all this extractors and normally this official company give only the bias region and our entire bias divided into the different different regions so we have to use all this tool and then we have to insert a bias region into our old dumb bias file and we have to create a new bias then only all these things are work so we have the course here online or offline you can join our online or offline course which tell you about the how this tool different different tools work and how to create a new bias image file okay this is a very simple and very effective course and once you learn all the things you can able to create your bias file and no need to download here and there simple you can repair your old bias only okay so this is a concept of the bias and now we'll go to the next so i explain you how this things work now we'll see what are the symptom will there on your laptop if your me region bias gets corrupt okay so these are the symptom if your laptop is when you press a power button is power on but current is not reach to that level that is the first symptom the second symptom your laptop is power on but it's not the cpu core generate the third symptom the, your laptop power on current reach to that level but the display come late display comes somewhere around one minute and the next is your laptop is turn off on certain intervals like your laptop will turn on within a 30 second or within a 1 hours or within a half an hour exactly half an hour when you turn on laptop it will run for 30 minutes and then turn off then again you have to turn on it stayed for 30 minutes then again turn off so this is also one of the symptom of your emergency bias gets corrupt then your fan spinning very high speed device is not detected operating system is not detected so these are the symptom says that your emergency bias gets corrupt and for that we have to use the three things first thing we have to use me analyzer will analyze the bias and then we'll see what type of version is there what is the sku is there number 1 number 2 we require of fitc tool to clean up that bias and the third will require a clean intel me file and we have to combine with our old bias and will create another working bias that we'll see in this video so now we'll learn how to do cs txc version 3 and 4 regions uh, bias so what are the things required uh, to 
create a new bias. So first things, these are the things we require to create a new working bias. The first things require is old faulty bias, okay, old dumb bias file, okay. So first thing we require original, so what we have to do is we have to copy our old bias which is giving the problem which we are suspect there is a problem in the TX regions. So first we want that. Second thing is we require open SSL. Open SSL you can download from the net either 32 bit or 64 bit it is depend on our operating system. And then we require a ME analyzers okay and ME analyzer analyze this uh, bias okay analyze this bias and tell us about the versions of the Intel repository file and Intel file image tool. So these two things tell us he, the ME analyzer tell us about the Intel TXC repository bias file and Intel file image tools and then finally will require hex editor okay so these are the tools we require to create a new working bias so all these tools are readily available you can download from the net open ssl is available and me analyzers then intel txc or uh, repository file and intel file image tool and even the hex editor so friend uh, here we uh, keep all this uh, folders here and uh, this is my old dumb bias file uh, which is from asus laptop what we'll do is we'll drag this file in me analyzer and me analyzer tell us about the the versions of the fitc tools and uh, cs txc versions so but before that uh, we have to install OpenSSL. So I here download OpenSSL from the net and I have to install this OpenSSL in the PC. So I'll double click and yes, accept next. The file is it's created in this folder C colon program file OpenSSL next 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 finish the open ssl is installed on my pc okay so here is i mentioned the procedure so first we install the open ssl now we have to generate the rsa file from the open ssl okay for that we have to go a command prompt with the administrator okay and uh, to do that i make here a batch file you can you can see this batch file you can make uh, such a batch file like this c colon then cd slash then cd program file dash open ssl dash 64 dash bin then open ssl dash exe space generate rsa gne rsa space dash dash out then you have to give the name so this is name i gave txc dot pem okay txc dot pem okay uh, now what we'll do we'll go to the c folder so this is a c folders then program files open ssl this one is my path of this uh, open ssl so c colon slash program file slash open ssl dash 64 win 64 dash b e n okay so what i'll do is i'll go here on my cs txc folders and then I'll run this batch file. When I'll run this batch file, here the file will be created called txc.pem file will be created. Once I 
run this batch file. So what I'll do, right click, then run as an administrator, then yes, and then you can see, you can see this file is created. File name is txc.pem. Okay, so this is a simple batch file I run. So this uh, txc.pme is uh, created in this folder. So up to here I completed all the task. Okay, I download OpenSSL, run, then I run this command up to here, here on the CMD, and then txc.pm file is created okay on that folder now the next is i have to open me analyzer and drag my old file so i open up me analyzer and i will drag this file asus dump bias which is 8 mb because of this file my display is not coming on my laptop so I, what i'll do i will drag this file so I'll drag this file and then we have to click enter. So as soon as I click on enter, then all the information about the bias will be here. So the family is CSE TXE, version is 4.0.30.1386. The file type is extracted and oem configuration yes and that and the file state is initialized this is important and fitc tool file image tool we require 4.0.30 this file image tool i require so what i require i require two things one i require a repository file that is 4.0.30.1386 and then I require a file image, Intel file image tool that 4.0.1392. So already both the file I kept it here is a 4.0.30.1386. That uh, Intel repositionary TXE repositionary file is here. So I already kept it here. And then I require that 4.0.30.1392 Intel CS TXE system tools. That also I downloaded and I kept here. So what I'll do, I'll extract this fold five folder like this. And after extracting, one folder will be created here. Okay. The folder name will be Intel CSTXE System Tools version 4. So up to here, I completed my task. What I'll do, I'll minimize this now. Now I have to open this FITC version okay run as an administrator and i have to run fit.exe as an administrator okay so what i'll do i'll go to this folder then then into file image tools then win32 and here this file fit.exe file file image tool then what i have to do i have to right click and then run as a administrator and yes i have to click yes after that this file will be loaded go to file open then up up and this file asus dump file this is my old files to click then open so as soon as i click open the file will be loaded and then and the next thing is once the file is loaded we have to go to the platform protection file and then we have to select smip signing key okay where we have to go platform protection file platform protection file and then then SMIP signing key, okay, SMIP signing key, I have to go, SMIP signing key and we have to give the path 
that txc.pm. I have to click here, then here. I have to select the path. So the path is, I have to go, then C drive, then program file, then open SSL, then bin and this txc.pm which is the RSA file which is created with the help of that patch file. Okay, so this I have to give you a path, I select this, then open. So the path I gave. So after completing the path, then what we have to do is we have to go to the build and the build setting and select generate image file to know. We have to go build, build setting, generate image it. here we have to select no, okay, no. After that, we have to select, after this uh, generate image it effect no, then go to the Intel manifest extension utility path and select MEU file. Intel manifest utility, then we have to go here, manifest extension utility, we have to go manifest extension utility, then win32 and then we have to select this MEU, okay, we have to select MEU, then open, okay. So, till now, we, up to this task we have completed right okay and after that we have to select signing tool path and then we have to go this we have to give this open ssl exe path signing tool path then this file. You have to select, you have to go program file, then open SSL-64, then slash bin and then we have to select open SSL.exe file and then click, then we have to select open, okay. So till here we completed, okay. So select signing tool path that we give this path. C column program file open SSL dash 64 dot open SSL. Okay. Then verify signing C select to no. Here we have to select no. And then and once we completed this verify signing select no, then we have to save the file. We have to close and then file, save, save to where, we will save, so we have to save to csdxc bias which that folder which we will create it, the file will be generate here once we press save button, so untitled .xml file will be created here, so save. So as soon as I press the save button, then this file is created, okay. This is untitled.xml file is generate here, okay. So after that, we go back and uh, after that, we have to copy uh, our CSTXE repository file and then we have to go to the systems uh, intel file system win32 and dcom folder and we have to paste there so what we have to do is we have to copy this file this is my intel txe file so what i have to do i have to copy this file and then i have to go to the 
Intel CS TXE system tools, then I have to go file image tools, then Win32 and this folder which is created that is ASUS dump files and then DCOM and then I have to paste it here. Okay, so I paste it here. So the next thing is so here is my that 8 MB bias which will which is extracted with the different different regions because the bias is on different different regions. So here are the different different regions, the bias region, then TX region. So main things we have to do is we have to rename this file to the TX region. So here is my old TX regions, this one. So what I will do is I will rename, copy, then I will go here, then rename and then paste and then enter. So this file is create here, I already renamed this file and then I will delete this old device. Okay. So, what we did here is we kept here a Intel repositionary file and we remove old bias from there. Okay. So, we completed task till here. After that, we will open again this untitled XML file. Okay. And then we will click and then build image. So, we will come here again, then file, then open, we will go up, up, up and we will open this file here, untitled.xml, we will click here and then open, the file is loaded and then after we will click on build and then on build image. Then yes, the file is created here. See the file is created, it is not give any error. If it is any error, then it will give notifications. So now is not give any errors. So my the new bias working bias is created. The name is out image. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll minimize this. I'll come here. I'll enter into the Intel CSTXE system files, then file system tools, then Win32, and here is my bias. This is my bias. What I'll do? I'll copy copy and then I will come up here and then I will paste here. Okay. So, this is my, I will rename this new CS TXC device. Okay. So, this is my new CSTXE TXE bias. So, here is my old bias and this is my new bias. Okay. So, now I complete it. We just open with the ME analyzer and we will check file position of this bias whether it is convert into the configure mode or not. So, what I will do is I will open ME analyzer, then I will drag this file and click enter. So, as soon as I click enter, then the file will be shown here. I, what I will do, I will check, I will compare with the old file. So, here is my old file. So, you can see this is a old bias and here is a new bias. Okay. Everything is same 4.0.30, 1.386. 4.0.30.1386 everything is the same the difference is only here so this file is on uh, file state is initialized 
and this file is become a configured that means we are successfully did our clean txt regions this file comes into configured state okay so these things we are done so what i'll do i'll minimize both the file and the next steps we have to add or uh, data where is my smip data okay so what i'll do is so i have to drag this file here like this in me analyzer and then i have to type dash d f e t like this dash d f e t and then press enter so as soon as i press enter then here will be data i will appear so i have to go here and i have to see smip address so here are the different different regions address start add address and their size but we we are not bothering about rest of the data we are bothering only about the smip data so here is my smip address okay till here so my smip offset address start from 2002000 and it end address at 44400 and the total size is 2000 okay so what is what is that the smip start address end address and the total size so, so the offset start at 2000 total size will be 2000 okay so what we'll do we'll drag our both file into hex editors so here is my hex editors and these are this two file one is this file old and another is this is the new file yes this is a new file okay so both files are here i'll go here and tiles so you can see both files are there both files are there so here is my old dump by bias file and here is my new so i have to click here and i have to give the command control e control e and then i have to type to 000 okay and then i to type here the total length will be 2000 okay so my offset address start 2000 and the total length is in hex 2000 okay so i to give okay after that here that offset so why we do this because we want our smip address so my smip address is start from start from 2000 start the total size is 2000 and end address is 4000 okay so i i to write this and then click okay so this data is selected then i have to click right click and then copy so here i copy that data smip data from my from my old dump bias okay now i have to go here and i have to do the same thing here control e i have to click here i have to click here and then control e okay then same thing 2000 then the length also 2000 then i have to okay okay then the year the same thing is selected then what i have to do i have to insert this data in here so i have to right click i have to click right click and then paste insert okay now 
data data is shifted here then i have to save this file file save as so i'll give the name final okay bys okay and then i will save it here the file is saved then i will come here in this folder and here will be final okay bys file will be created so here's my files so i'll this changes extensions to dot bin and yes dot bin yes and this file is created so friend so this is my final okay by itself so in this way we have to follow the steps to making clean cstxv regions so we have to use all this tool which i explain you and simply you have to follow these the steps so simply you have to follow the steps okay okay so so it is little bit tricky so you have to do a multiple time practice then only you can able to do uh, such types of changes in the old dumb bias file so only for cstxe3 and 4 you require all this procedure otherwise of uh, cs m regions or uh, m region or cs m region you don't need all this procedure but only for the cs trusted engine executions files you require such types of things you have to do all the steps you have to follow and you need all these tools to do all these things okay So, friend, in this way, we learn how to use the FRTC tools, and with the help of FRTC, how to create a new bias file that we learn in this video. So, if you want to join our bias editing course, you can welcome. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day.